I want you to know I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical background or a degree. It is something that I've really become well-versed in and have been a huge advocate on social media um, and speaking engagements to really begin to educate people about this test. Why I am so passionate, my husband passed away April of 2021 from a Widowmaker heart attack. We would have no idea he had heart disease. The number one thing I want to talk to you guys about is really helping to educate uh, those you love. So if you yourself have had any kind of heart issues, you're someone in your family, that you can talk to your kids and then your grandkids and really pass this information forward so that as a young person, you begin to really educate yourself about heart health, a heart healthy diet, um, heart tests that can be ran. You can start establishing your patient uh, with a doctor, a cardiovascular um, a specialist. We did not know that Jeremy had heart disease. And so number one is educating people in your family. I think that's so important. And as it, it goes, like there's been so much things that have happened in the family. It wasn't something that was at the forefront. So I want to encourage you um, that it is so important to talk to uh, your family, whether it's you or someone in your family, to educate the family about that. Uh, the second thing is that you are aware of some of the things that could uh, pray, like pre a heart disease or pre a heart um, issue that happened. At the time, we did not know what we what we thought happened. Is I had gone. Um, I'm going to walk you through the day. Picked up my son from school. My husband had called. I was getting my hair done and said that uh, he wasn't feeling good. He was throwing up. He had a diarrhea. He just did not feel good. And I'm saying this transparently because I don't know if this was a heart episode that he had where you're really struggling and you're in what they call a heart episode that's kind of pre-looting uh, a heart attack. Um, oftentimes you can have warning shots fired. I didn't know this, but by educating myself, I've learned. Uh, and what he thought he had was the devil flu. And so we thought that that's what it was. And I picked up my son from school. I had come home. I looked all over the place, our bedroom, our bathroom, downstairs. I was calling and starting to kind of panic because his truck was here, but he was nowhere to be found. And the last place I looked was down the hallway in my middle daughter or my youngest daughter's bedroom. And he was in the bed laying kind of like face down and away from me. And I said, oh my gosh, why are you in, you know, Haley's room? And he said, I was the closest bathroom. I just did not feel good. And I'm trying to like process through our house because he would have had to cross over three bathrooms to get to her bedroom unless maybe he was coming up from the basement. I, I had no idea. So I did the normal thing as a wife. I went and got water, ice water. Um, I did... Uh, crackers, some Sprite, and I did um, like a Theraflu that I put in there and an all natural kind of for him. I called my girlfriends and I was like, who has Zofran? Because poor Jeremy is sicker than a dog and I wanted to get him some help. I also had asked about getting and calling in a IV and he was absolutely like, no way that's going to be so embarrassing because I don't know if I'm going to be which end it's coming out of Tanya. And I was so frustrated with him. Um, at this point in Jeremy's health, I was exacerbated. I do not say that lightly. It wasn't something I posted on social media. It wasn't something I was talking about openly. It wasn't even something I was talking to, like my life coach. I had two really close girlfriends, and I had been talking about how frustrated I was because Jeremy snored so badly. So uh, go five years prior, we had... He had a surgery to have a deviated septum fixed. Um, at the time, it was super scary because he had just had a sleep study done and had pretty significant sleep apnea. And this was after argument after argument because I was traveling, I was speaking for my job, and um, when I would come home to try and sleep, I could not get a full night's rest. And I had become ill which really just was the tipping point for me to say, listen, something's got to give. Please go get a sleep study done. 